packed house here in the rink, the north rink here at the rinks in Hop Hog, New York. Eric Bellier alongside Michael Brown for one versus three. A battle of undefeateds as the Kings Park Comac Knights face off against the East Islip Chiefs here for some SCHSHL hockey on the Long Island Sports Network. Both teams coming in undefeated, both teams with very big wins last week, looking to continue their undefeated seasons here tonight. And this, uh, this game is one that we've all had marked on the calendar. Two of the top teams in the league squaring off. East Islip, who is just eating everybody for breakfast they've faced. They are, they've got 24 goals, uh, excuse me, 25 goals for, and uh, they've only given up 11. On the other side, Kings Park scored 19, given up four. Just for, just for context, Ryan Anatra scored four in a couple games this year. <laughs> so we're gonna see some, uh, you know, we'll see some great defense, some great offensive players out there, and uh, it's gonna be a fun one. Two of the faster teams in the league as well. Two wins last week against a good Ward Melville team on east on the East Islip end, and the KPC Knights defeated Longwood rather handedly. Uh, both teams, Kings Park, Comac, coming in wearing you know flipping jerseys from last week, white mainly with yellow maroon trim. East Islip in their devilish black and red. Six of the top ten scorers in the league are on tap on both sides of the ice for tonight. East Islip will play the guest side, and the Kings Park Comac Knights will don the home side. Taking a look at warm-ups, looks like these guys are pretty pumped. They know it's at stake. Oh, definitely. Packed house as well early on. We saw the fans come in during the freshman game. That was on this rink earlier, and warm-ups are coming to a close. And Two of the faster teams in the league, we saw Kings Park Comac last week just suffocate their opposition and really, I think, didn't give up more than 10 shots in three in, in the three periods I, I of tell play. you what, I've been really impressed with these guys this season. Um, they lost, I, I want to say, four or five of their top players. I'm looking out there. Billy Prang was one of their graduates who was a mainstay on the team for a couple of years. He's now moved on. Uh, 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 Mikey Brazil, another one who was just all over the place for them for the last two seasons. He's gone. They've they filled their roles, though. Uh, Ludzinski's one that's been... Uh, He's played great this year. He's trying to fill those shoes with some of those some of those more experienced scores, and he's done a great job. Um, and goaltending, obviously, uh, their goaltending has been terrific. Four goals on the season, total given up um, after three games. That's just unbelievable. So, uh, for Colin Caputo and Jason Krauthammer, they're they're getting it done back there for the for the Knights. Ryan Anatra on the East Islip side of things, 12 goals scored in three games, including a four-goal game in their win over Ward Melville, one of his four goals being a penalty shot that for just a, a high schooler had one of the nicer dekes and, and backhanded shots I've seen in quite a long time. High-octane defense, or high-octane offense, rather, and two very good goaltending teams facing off momentarily as warm-ups are completed and both teams are heading to their bench. Goaltending matchup tonight. Looks like we are going to have for East Islip, it's going to be number 30, Jason Crouch Krauthmeyer and Brody Dixon in goal for the Chiefs. Krauthammer started two games. So far, has won them both. Uh, he's given up. The, he's given up the four goals that Kings Park's given up. But uh, he's got those two big W's, and uh, one of those games came against St. Anthony's too, which we know is always a perennial powerhouse. Yeah, you beat St. Anthony's in anything, you're going to be talked about, and a, a win against them is a good win overall. Well, Kings Park has been talked about because they've done just that, and uh, now is uh, now's a chance for them to step up against another top team in the league and prove that they deserve that number one spot. So. Pretty excited to see what happens next. It's 
going to be Lamza and Anatra taking the opening face off here. It looks like there's a little bit of a hold up. Just laying some ground rules. <laughs> and we are underway here in the East Islip KPC matchup as East Islip controls the puck on the near boards. Carries it in deep. Arister just wide left of the net. East Islip applying the pressure that they did last week. Now Kings Park Comac drives the puck deep on the near wall closest to us. Puck fires around the net into the neutral zone and back into the Kings Park Comac zone as both teams will retreat back. Not a big, big crowd tonight, but <laughs> certainly a lively one down there. Puck now taken over by Kings Park Comac. They have numbers if they hurry as the pass goes wide. Anatra knocks the puck down, looking to clear with no luck. Puck still being batted around. They have a two on one if they hurry. Up the right side, pass across ice, Lamp. Anatra just off the stick. Misses wide on the pass there. Puck deep below the goal line now kicks out to the point and out all the way down East Ice to the East Ice Leben. Looks like it was off a chief defender, so no icing call there. Puck now carried in deep into the KPCs or into the East Ice zone. Picked off though. East Ice will look to carry the puck out. Puck's now taken over by Kings Park Comac, a cross ice pass, no luck. Good stick defense there by the Chiefs. A redirected shot wide, now behind the goal. East Ice will carry it out. If they hurry, they'll have a three on two. Puck now wide, a wrister stopped. Looked like it hit the side wall, now a Kings Park Comac defender loses his skate and crashes into the boards. No harm though, he's back up. Pepe now calling for the puck. Puck over the middle of the ice to the top of the point and lost. So now that puck will travel low. Shot on goal, off angle shot taken care of there by the goaltender. It'll be a KPC icing, so the puck will retreat back into the night zone. Good pace to start. Some early saves by Dixon and Crouchhammer. Face off to the, to the right of Crouch Hammers. The face off's won by Kings Park Comac, but poked away by East Iceland. Both teams moving quickly here, just without the round little black thing that needs to go in the net. A lot of banging of the bodies early on as well. East Iceland will burn you on the breakout so quick. They love those those th those odd man rushes into the into the offensive zone. Puck in front off the post. A nice save there. Looked like the goaltender did get a piece of it. Now Kings Park Comac carries it out. A wrist shot, save, stick save, waffle board to the side. Kings Park Comac still controls back to the point. A wrister gloved by Dixon and play will stop. 12.09 remaining in the opening frame here at the rinks. Faceoff will be to the left of Dixon as each team gets a new five as Lemza and Lemza will take the faceoff for Kings Park Comac. Pucks dropped, controlled by EI. EI carries out. Four against three here. Nacha tries to skate through two defenders with no luck. Puck bouncing around in the neutral zone here, now taken over by Lemza. Lemza tries to carry in deep with no luck. Good stick checks early on by both sides as it seems like a team, both sides are playing a game of hot potato in the neutral zone. Puck carried out into the neutral zone again. Taken over by East Islip, looks to dump it in, but no luck. Puck defended, or excuse me, Puck deflected off of a KP, uh, Kings Park Comac defender with no repercussions on that. Puck now taken over into the neutral zone by East Islip. Carries it in to the left hand face off. Dot a wrister deflected. Never got to the goaltender. So now Kings Park Comac will carry it out. East Islip looking for a change, but can't with, Cape, with uh, Kings Park Comac on the charge. 
Looks like they're going to call an offside here on East Islip, so the puck will come out to the neutral zone dot. Karina, Carino Lafada, and Marazito take the ice. Puck now controlled by Kings Park Comac here as they carry it to the right of Dixon. Dumps behind Dixon's cage and now below the goal line. Puck battle along the boards. He's nice up looking to control, get it out of harm's way, and they do. Into the neutral zone, tipped off a KPC defenseman into his own zone. As Crouchhammer plays it out. Both teams looking to capitalize on an opportunity. A wrist shot, point blank, save there by Crouchmeyer. Nice save there. Puck along the far wall in the KPC zone. Now batted around its own goal over to the far wall near us. Puck through a KPC's skater's legs and into the EI zone. Kings Park Comac touches up and offside will be called. So, look like a Kings Park Comac defense or a forward and an EI player got kind of tangled up near the EI bench in the attack zone. So, no real luck for them to get back and try to touch up. So, offside was called there. Face off controlled by Kings Park Comac, but turned over almost immediately. He's nice up looking to break out on a rush here, but don't have the numbers. East Islip tries to get a partial line change in, and they do. But Kings Park Comac looking to make something happen. Puck now shot. Save. Did not get all of it, but is covered up. Oh, Brody Dixon feisty. gets it covered. As both all teams right. are getting at it a little bit that, now in the crease. That may cost you two minutes. <laughs> Roth is making the signal. Doesn't look good for him. <laughs> No. Nothing's been called just no call. yet. I like it. It's an intense game, you know. Give them a warning. Let them play. Nothing S wrong with it. Certainly letting a little problem here is there looks to be six skaters here for Kings Park Comac. Yeah, you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Face off tipped ahead by East Islip, but Kings Park Comac controls as they send it below the Brody Dixon goal line. Kings Park Comac now turns it over and EI looks to break out here. Hits off an EI forward into the KPZ zone, so they'll have to touch up. Loose stick on the ice now, and East Islip skater, so. Was out of the stick for just a second. Puck comes in and around the goal of Kings Park Comac as East Islip gets a four man change here. 9.05 remaining in period number one. Three 15 minute frames here played in the SCH SHL. East Islip with a chance now. Arissa looked like it was deflected and saved, but Puck was kicking around a bit there, but Kings Park Comac gets it out of the way. Now Ryan Anatra takes it. Looks to create a little havoc here. Something to look for later. East Islip's running basically two lines. They've got nine reserves on the bench, whereas KPC looks like they're running three. Not that it matters when you've got the kind of talent that East Islip has, but you know, you look for them to maybe get a little tired towards the towards the end of the game. And depth as well. East Islip yeah. does that we saw last week. They got a lot of guys in in the EI game. Now Ryan Anatra with a chance here. A wrist shot didn't get all of it. Sends one over the Kings Park Comac goal. Anatra controls again, looking for somewhere to pass and does to the right hand side. Rister shot save. Nice save there. Kick that right to his defenseman, right to Jesse Lemza. Now Lemza carries out below the goal line. Off the post, an off angle shot, but looked like it was on the far post there, so didn't look like much harm. Looks like he changed up the lettuce this year, too. He, yes. He's got, uh, he's still got a little flow back there, <laughs> but last year it was just massive. The main was flowing. Oh, it was in full effect last year, it was solid. <laughs> still oh, pretty good. A wrist shot deflects off the KPC defenseman. Now a wrist oh. shot, save! Don't know if it got through, but East Islip applying the pressure here early. East Islip still controls, finds an open man. The wrister shot over the goal. Just missed. 
inches away, but East Islip applying the pressure here. A great forecheck. Puck is released into the neutral zone, so Kings Park Comac gets a little change. And now a turnover. Wrist shot by Walsh, gloved by Brody Dixon. Dixon's been around a few years, too. He's been in big games like this. Uh, pretty sure the uh, East Islip coaching staff pretty confident putting him behind the net, but uh, back in net today. Both teams have good goalie tandems. We saw both of their other goaltenders play last week and oh, yeah. both secure two wins. So depth is definitely there. Face off to the left of Dixon. Face off controlled by East Islip as they carry the puck out over center ice. Arista from the top of the point just over the goals there. Looks like the KPC goaltender got a glove on it, or at least a part of it. A lot of stick play here early on. Not much action with the puck, but we see it comes in droves as KPC looks to make something happen. A pass back to the top of the point, broken up. Nice defensive play there. If East Islip hurries, they have a three on two. Puck carried over. Nice defensive play there to get the skate out, but East Islip still controls. Puck along the far wall now into the neutral zone, carried out by Kings Park Comac. Wide of Dixon, bounces off his cage and below the goal line. Steady pace of play here. Only one real stoppage, no penalties yet. As I probably say that, something will get called soon. That always happens. More than likely. <laughs> 6.05 remaining in period number one. 11 minutes of or excuse me, almost 11 minutes have come and gone. As the Islip carries the puck over with speed, a little deke there. Pass over, nice save oh. there by the defender. I should say block by the defender, never got to the goaltender. Broken up by Kings Park Comac as they carry through the neutral zone. Puck chipped ahead uh -oh. now, East Islip looking to make something going right up the middle of the ice. A deke through the, through the Kings Park Comac defender's legs uh, looks to be. going to get a little chippy now. And here we go up against the far wall. Ivers is skating really, really well in this one. He's, he's probably one of the best skaters in the league, uh, you know, and that's in terms of just skating. Um, blowing by guys through the neutral zone to create that chance. Krauthammer had him, and he, uh, you know, maybe took a little extra liberty with Krauthammer, and Sure enough, KPC wasn't happy about that. So no. we'll see what happens on the ice. Um, it looks like East Islip's getting... Looks like a notch was going, huh? Uh, yeah, which is surprising. And the EI coaching staff has something to say about that as Ryan and Notra heads in... Oh, that's just Danny Barbarito being <laughs> Danny Barbarito. Don't worry about him. Heads into <laughs> the penalty box. I don't know what he's saying, but I'm sure it's inspirational. They gave Ryan and Notra two minutes for roughing as the captains from both sides are having a chat with the referees here. Hey, you see that uh, uh, national championship patch on, on uh, Danny's sleeve. This, team, this is a team that went to the Nationals last year, you know, so they're, uh, they're expecting some big things. Yeah, and, and returning a lot of the same team from last year and developing them in the system that they have. They've been playing very well so far this year. Both teams have, really, but... EI with a commanding 3-0 record. Yeah, uh, EI, Sachem, they had some young players last year that have come into their own. I, like I said, I put Sachem and EI in the same category because they're both really, really good and really, really deep teams. So now Kings Park Comac on the first power play of the game. Rister passed Dixon over his goal off the boards under the goal line, so Kings Park Comac will have to reset. The puck's carried out to the point. Lemza calling for the puck. Puck clear across the zone, a save by Dixon, looking to cover up, but kicks it over to one of his defenders, but stays in the zone. Lemza controls now. Arista looking for a deflection, and it's deflected wide. Ten minutes have gone by here now in period number one. A minute 20 remaining on the power play. Lemza controls the puck to the left of Dixon, now carries it around his goal. Looking for an open teammate as he finds one at the top of the point. Back to the left face off dot. Now back to the top of the point. A little play of catch here as the wrist shot. Shot save. Dixon. Another save. Dixon on the rebound. 
Nice stick there by EI to try to pop it up, but a lot of time being spent in their own zone. Uh -oh. Shot across, oh. top shelf! Kings Park, Comac strikes first on the power play. one nothing Knights. Looks like Grinelli. Let's see what we got here. Great keep in, looking for his man. Grinelli wide open in the slot. Dixon buys a little too much, and uh, Grinelli puts it home. Tyler Grinelli with the goal, Ryan Walsh with the first assist, Jesse Lemza with the second. One nothing, Kings Park Comac. And those are the kinds of guys that we just talked about. Those guys that are going to take the mantle from the Mikey Brazil, from the uh, from the Billy Prang. So great for them to get started. I know that's exactly what KPC wants to see. And East Islip obviously does not <laughs> like Kings Park. Puck is in the Kings Park in the East Islip zone now. As both fans are getting a little chippy here. It's all right. Puck below the Kings Park Comac goal line. East Islip looking to make something happen. Kings Park Comac now chips it into the neutral zone. Clear deep into the EI zone behind Dixon's goal as East Islip looks to carry around, but a lot of pressure put on by KPC in the opposition zone. East Islip now carries it in. Puck to the right face-off dot. Now below the goal line, looking to make something happen here. Wrist shot deflection just wide. one nothing in favor of Kings Park. 3-10 now remaining here in the opening frame. East Islip keeps it in the Kings Park zone now cleared out. Almost a hand pass call there, and it is. So with 3.04 remaining, we'll have a stoppage in play. Looks like the faceoff will be in the EI zone. I got to be honest, this is not the game script I was expecting. Uh, it's been a tight kind of neutral zone battle. We know we've got good goaltenders in the game, but we haven't seen very many high quality chances, right? Yep. And both and, and both teams can handle the puck fairly well. Oh, so absolutely. To, to see a lot of stick play and, and a lot of hot potato well, yeah. in the neutral zone isn't that surprising. It is very just surprising. just used to each other. Yeah. And so are the fans. I believe if I heard right, East Islip kind of dominated them in football at some point. Oh, I'm I sure think that. Early I, I, this I, I, year. I'm sure they care about that out on the ice. <laughs> 250 remaining here in period number one. Puck slides behind. Crouch Hammer's goal. East Islip looking to... Tucked the neutralizer in here. K KPC settled down a bit. They're not really letting him have uh -oh. Lamza carrying the puck in the zone. Sneaks one by Dixon. Two nothing in favor of the Kings Park Comac Knights. Hey, Lamza does this all himself. Uh, I mean, right through the neutral zone. Pizza defenseman, there's really nothing to explain here. This is just an individual effort and an unbelievable finish. Off the iron, it looked like, too. He caught the far post and almost wiped out on the celebration. I, I but when you, you put what, one in, it's all right. I tell you what, as somebody that followed this league last year, I knew Lemza was good. I did not realize he is this good. Uh, he has led this team. I mean, I'm looking at the stats and everything else, so... I was not familiar with his game, as they say, and I am now. <laughs> a coming on, out yeah. party, so to speak, for Lemza this year. And he's got the best hair in the league. To yes, be, so yes. I'm a fan. <laughs> 220, less than 220 remaining. We hit the 213 mark here in period number one. Puck is in the KPZ zone. And they're looking to strike now. What a one-on-three opportunity through the legs. Nice check there from two East Islip defenders to break it up. 157 now. East Islip looking to get something on the board here before period number one ends. Arister save. Dixon shot wide and open net. Oh, oh, oh. Dixon was caught. Spread eagle looking for the rebound and a lot of open net. Kings Park Comac just missed wide. And Natra now carries in oh, past the defender. Now through his legs. Backhander mm -hmm. scores. You got to be kidding. Who else? <laughs> Ryan Anatra, top shelf. Backhanded beauty. Two to one. The lead right. is cut in half. Well, just watch. <laughs> There's nothing you could do. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, damn. There's uh, 
Nobody I, can I, stop I, that. I got nothing for that. <laughs> Nobody can stop that. That's uh, point number uh, 50 in the last three yeah. games for Ryan Anatra. His 13th goal of the season, oh, leading, <laughs> leading the SCHSHL. We'll see if there was any assists on that. Doesn't look like there was. And there goes his buddy Ivers. <laughs> Looking for it. Even more. 125 remaining is a shot sent in the Crouchhammer's gut. So play will stop with a minute 23. Looks like the faceoff will be to the left of the KPC goaltender. <laughs> We're going to look at that goal again, and I'm going to try to give it some kind of... <laughs> yeah, we're just going to just, just watch. Goal! Out of nowhere, Ryan! Was that Ryan Anatra again? Oh, I God. think so. Call it? Uh, yeah. Uh, let's... Uh, oh, that might have been Pepe. There, let's check out the replay. Uh, it's a good thing we got a big monitor in front of us. Yeah. See. We totally missed it. Face off one. Pepe takes it himself. Top oh, shelf. No doubt. It's two of the better goals you'll see in the oh, last, yeah. like, 30 seconds just to, you know. Anthony Pepe buries the equalizer. We were totally caught off guard. I bet you if there was a and I tell you what, <laughs> bottle of water at the top of the goal, it would have flown off 2-2. Two -two. He, he carried this team in the playoffs last year. And, he, you know, we haven't really talked much about him. That's his seventh point of the season in, you know, three and change games. That would be great on any other team. Totally. And now, and now it looks like the ice has opened up a little bit as Crouchhammer with the save. A lot more offensive opportunities. 1-0, one, oh, one like remaining. That. East Iceland now with a shot in the Crouchhammer's chest. So we'll be at 56.4 seconds remaining here in the first period. And it definitely looks like the rink filled out with fans, though, I can tell you that. Face off one by East Islip, shot wide past Crouchhammer. 50 seconds remaining now. East Islip looking to take the lead after scoring two unanswered goals to tie up the game. Kings Park Comac now sh carries in. Lamza controls below the goal line, shoots one awkwardly over the goal of Dixon. Now East Islip carries it out. 30 seconds remaining. Puck carried behind the goal line, looks to stuff one but shoots it wide. No numbers here for Kings Park Comac, but East Islip kind of flails their sticks at it, keeps it in. Thought that was going out for a second as Kings Park controls in the neutral zone on the near wall. Shot in, Dixon catches a line drive like he's playing first base for the New York Yankees. 5.6 nah, remaining. He wouldn't have caught it if he was <laughs> playing for the Yankees. 5.6 seconds remaining in the first period. So that was interesting. Yeah, you kind of feel the energy a little bit here in the north rink here at the rinks. Student sections are awake, we'll tell you that. Oh, d definitely. We'll let you use your imagination based on what you hear in <laughs> our mics. Thank goodness for no crowd, Mike. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 2.8 seconds remaining in the first period. Both teams nodded up at two. Face off controlled and shot behind the East Islip goal, and that will be all for period number one. Two goals apiece. A lot of energy and a lot of highlights here. We'll take a quick break and get back on with period number two. You're watching SCH SHL Hockey on Long Island Sports Network. East Islip, SCH, SHL hockey here at the rinks in Hop Hawk. The North Rink, if you're looking for directions, Eric Bellier and Michael Brown here with you. And if you're just joining us after period number one, you missed some early 
defensive play between the teams, but then highlights galore on the four goals combined between the two squads. Uh, that Ryan and Notre goal, I'm still speechless. And then the Pepe goal, we totally no, the just Pepe missed. The Pepe goal was amazing, too. <laughs> we totally it was just, just the Pepe it. goal was so quick. <laughs> I know. Like, we had, like you, you had to see it on replay to appreciate it. Both teams flip now. He side slips shooting on your TV screen's right side. I Kings Park, Comac attacking from the left. And an early clear attempt in the faceoff will head into the EI zone. And, and these are really good players that these guys are doing it to. They're not doing it to like some rec league bender, you know? Oh, no, yeah. So it's, it's fun to watch, I'll tell you that. Both crowds letting their oppo the opposing goaltenders have it as they switch sides. Oh, that's always fun. <laughs> Puck now around the East Islip goal. Kings Park Comac with it on the far wall. Now shoots it around Dixon's goal. And East Islip looks to carry it out here. Puck cleared now to the left of Krauthammer, a, a weak shot that sticked away. Now turned over by East Islip, but looks like an opportunity here if they hurry and they call off sides, which looked a little close there. It's close. You can do that! You can do that! Uh, that's not really the time to you chant that. <laughs> It's only on a penalty, guys. Only on guys. a penalty, guys. It's <laughs> just an offside. <laughs> Nobody goes to the box and feels shame on an offside. None. No shame. 14-15 <laughs> here remaining in period number one. 15-minute frames as an icing is called on Kings Park Comac, so the faceoff will head deep into their own zone. Both teams travel well, too. <laughs> yeah. A lot of fans here from both sides. You know, it is, they've been good for a long time. The kids all know that it's always going to, especially when top five teams play each other in Suffolk County, you always get a great draw. They're great games. We have a good one here so far. 2-2 two -two on the scoreboard as East Islip looks to make something happen. And Natra controls the puck to the right of Crowdhammer. Anatra now sauces one over to the near board and into the neutral zone, but Anatra regains possession. Heads over now in front of the East Islip bench, carried over into the Kings Park Comac zone. A backhanded shot, looked like it went in from this angle, but hit off the back of the net. Puck to the top of the point now. Dumped in below the goal yeah. line. Good hit, shoulder to shoulder. Both teams playing physical early on, but in the right spots, not looking to apply the pressure that way. Wow. What a wrist shot there! And Kings Park strikes first here in the second period. Three to two in favor of the Knights. Broke out pretty well, nice and clean. One pass out of the zone and just let it rip. That was a great wrist shot. I think everybody was worried about Jesse Lemza you know, streaking towards the net there, but... Oh, yeah. Got to pay attention to him the season he started. That was a great wrist shot, right underneath the glove of S Dixon. Stefan uh, Lazinski with the goal there. Assist by Tyler Grinelli. That's his second point of the game. One of those guys we mentioned that before the, before the game started. Just another JV call-up from this season that's been just doing real well. Actually, no, I believe he was with the team, team last year. Still doing real well this year. Kings Park Comac wins the faceoff, carries it in deep towards Dixon, saved, deflected out wide. Another shot saved, Dixon, he covers that one up. An energy filled three minutes and three seconds in the first period, the second period rather. Dixon still steady as they come back there. And again, he's been through this before. He's been in the league for a couple years. Take a lot of shots. We saw it last week in the Ward Melville EI game with Sittler who just Kept his team in the game with the amount of shots he faced from East Iceland. He was unbelievable in that game. Kept, really kept him in it. Puck now carried into the neutral zone by East Islip, looking to get it to Pepe with no luck. Turned over now, Kings Park Comac controls. Carries in a wrist shot. Nice pitching wedge there over the, almost over the entire netting, but off the netting, so face-off will come out into the neutral zone. I don't think these kids have ever seen a hockey game before. No, no. Uh, it, was, it was a stick-to-stick -stick It was a deflection. Poke check. Was yeah, that? yeah, it happens. Yeah. 
12 minutes and 30 seconds remaining here in period number two. Face off to the right of Dixon. Both guys tie up. Puck kind of heads below the goal line behind the goal. So now Kings Park, Comac controls a little spin move there. Now back behind the cage, looking for an open teammate. Fires an off-angle shot, taken care of by Dixon. East Islam now carries down to the neutral zone, but great physicality being played in a turnover here by East Islam. Backhand scores! Oh. What a defensive to offensive play! 3-3 hockey game once again. And that was Anthony Marazito. Why do we know this? Because Mrs. Marazito <laughs> made us very clear. Fantastic play here. Breaks up the cross-ice pass. Unbelievable move. Crowd hammer really doesn't have a chance. Unbelievable. He almost got a High piece game. of it, it looked like, too, but Marazito with a nice backhanded goal there. All three goals for EI have gone top shelf bar down. I, I, have there <laughs> been any bad goals in this? No. One? No. I, I... Highlights galore at the LI, <laughs> LI Sports Network on all social medias. Well, Kings Park Comac now carries it out. Lemza controls. Fires it in behind Dixon. Now East Islip looks to make something happen. East Islip controls now in the KPZ zone, but looks like they're trying to get a little change so the numbers aren't in the Chiefs' favor. Knights now control in the neutral zone, but East Islip pokes it away and sends it into the beginning part of the KPZ zone. But a game of hot potatoes. It looks like both teams are looking to try to get fresh legs out there. Lemza gets a piece of that one, but East Islip controls it. Cross ice pass deflected into the into the KPZ zone. Crowd hammer controls it. Kings Park Comac clears as they look to get a change. Ivers carries it into the zone now, passes it deep along the goal line. Backhanded shot never got to the net. Wrist shot into traffic. That puck never sees the goaltender either. 10.40 remaining here in period number two. Another wrist shot deflected. Looks like it hit off of a Knights defender in front of the goal, but never got the crowd hammer. The Knights clear into the neutral zone. East Islip takes over once again. Nice deke there. Ooh. Takes care of it. Wow. Another save crowd hammer. That's three two saves. Three in a row. Beautiful. Had to sprawl out for the third one, and now Kings Park Comac players without a stick, but is able to give it a little Pele there and get it out, and Notra controls. You know, we hear that we heard the, if you're a Giants fan, you have to prepare to stop Lawrence Taylor. You have to prepare to stop Ryan and Notra as he fires one in on crowd hammer yeah. there again. And of course, there's a little Extracurricular activities. There's three or four of them on that East Islip team you got to prepare to stop. Yeah. He's just the big name. Oh, yeah. I mean, but he does things like we saw earlier, you don't understand why. Totally. But uh, Pepe can, can, can hurt you. Ivers can definitely hurt you, like we talked about earlier. And Marazito can definitely hurt you. So, And you're still seeing the same six guys coming out, really running two lines here, like you mentioned earlier, as King Park... Kings Park Comac carries it out now, two on two, into the EI zone. Puck deflected here. East Islip has a chance if they hurry. Puck now carried in. Rister save. Crowd hammer, nice save there, dealing with a little adversity. And that was Anthony Pepe right there. He had that ticketed. Now here comes KPC with a shot off the netting, deflected off of an East Islip stick. Who was that? That that was Lodzinski that just did that? Yeah, and it, but it was, he had a good opportunity, but the EI defender just got his stick down. You know, the confidence with the puck for some of these guys that have been around for this is now their second year. Well, really shot off the face-off save by Dixon. Sorry to interrupt you. No, it's okay. You. It's just <laughs> what I'm seeing is, you know, the guys that I keep mentioning that, that you know, the, the second-year guys or the first-year call-ups, the confidence with the puck is 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 great. They're, they're taking their time. They're not just rushing a move right now, and it's it's, it's paying off. It speaks to the development of both programs, too. Kings Park, Comac, very good Oh yeah. for a long time in East Islip, one of the storied, you know, I almost said franchises, but schools in the SCHSHL. 
Well, we went over the travel programs one of the previous broadcasts, but we're seeing quite a few sets of Long Island Gulls gloves out there. A lot of gulls out there. we've got Long Island Royals out there. You've got Anatra and Ivers from the Arrows out there. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe two of the better defenders to ever play on Long Island played for the Gulls. Uh, that would be Charlie McAvoy <laughs> and Adam Fox. They are pretty good. Shot wide there, 820 remaining in period number two, 3-3 three, three game here in the second period. Lamza now controls over the blue line, dumps it off, a wrist shot save with the cage. Dixon using his head there. Now Ivers carries it in, dumps it in deep behind the goal, looking for Anatra. Wrist shot save, Crowdhammer. Puck That's now into the it. neutral zone. Uh oh. And carried out by Kings Park Comac, but a nice play to break it up there by Ivers. Cross ice pass over near the, on the near wall. Or slap shot directly off of a Kings Park Comac shin. That's going to hurt a little known bit. as a blocked shot. <laughs> I give a lot of credit. Oh, what a wrist shot, Ryan Anatra! He's got to stop doing that. It's just, the release is incredible. His second of the game, and it breaks the 3-3 tie. 7-19 remaining in the second period, 4-3 in favor of the Chiefs. Yeah, he was good last year. He uh, he came back just unbelievable. I, I yeah. I believe the I believe that's his 14th goal of the year. I can't believe he's got 14 goals. Yeah, he has 14 goals in three and a half games played. Looks like Anatra gets that unassisted. Anatra now again, a wrist shot save. Crouchhammer there. Now KPC looking to answer back. Knights carry down to the neutral zone, but taken over by East Islip. East Islip dumps it deep into the KPZ zone. KPC zone. Doubled up on my Z's there. <laughs> Coyle carries it in now, but taken over by East Islip again. One thing East Islip does do is that when they get a lead, they start playing a little bit more comfortably than you see when they're trailing. Sure. Puck kind of rolls along the glass there, out into the neutral zone. Coyle carries in through two EI defenders, but broken up there into the near corner. East Islip now through the neutral zone. They have a four on three developing, but chooses to dump it in instead. And Puck will carry out into the neutral zone. Pepe sends it over to the far wall. Now receives the puck back. Five fifty now remaining in period number two. Four to three in favor of the Chiefs. A long slap shot that was just let me send this down and get myself off the ice wide of the net. East Islip carries into the KPC zone, a deflected wrist shot there, but KPC's also played a bit more cautious now. Looking to take care of the puck a bit more. Absolutely. Puck carry now to the left of Dixon, fired in front of the goal. Good defensive play there by EI to keep their stick tied up with the puck. Five ten now remaining in period number two. Eric Belly and Michael Brown with you on the Long Island Sports Network. If you're just joining us, highlights galore. We have a breakaway here for East Islip. A wrist shot scores. Five three now in favor of the Chiefs. What a pass! Three quarters of the length of the ice wow. finds a streaking chief and buries one glove side. Anthony Marazito, his second goal of the game, Lawrence Lena. Okay, um, Lena, that was, Lena made that for her. Marazito, no doubt finished it, but man, what a pass. Doesn't happen without that pass from yeah, Lena. Yeah, you know what, that, that, that was great. 
5-3 in favor of the Chiefs from East Islip as we enter the late stages of period numero dos. KPC's got to regroup. A lot of time left. And they've proven that they can put pucks past Dixon. So, you know, KPC's also facing really their first form of adversity they've had this year. A, 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 I don't know, well, a route of Longwood last week, 11 to nothing, where they were able to control the game, but when, you know, they they punch somebody, it comes back to bite them when he's Islip answers right back. Well, my counter to that would be that they won a pretty big battle against St. Anthony's. And although St. Anthony's is not quite themselves right now, they're still a, an unbelievable team, and I expect them to fully right the ship. 4-2, they, they, uh, Kings Park beat St. Anthony's early in the season, and it's really set the tone for their success now. East Iceland now carries it. They have a three on two if they hurry. Wrist shot pass wide. Ryan Anatra controls now. Good defensive play there, but Anatra takes over yet again. Lena now looking to control the puck through his own legs, but Kings Park Comac just swarming them. And it looks like a whistle will be blown, I believe, for offsides. We'll see what the deal is here. Oh, that's an articulate chant. <laughs> Again, thank goodness for no crowd mics. <laughs> 11 minutes gone by here in period number two, 5-3 in favor of the Chiefs. East Islip looking to double their score here. What is he saying about camera focus? Puck behind the goal now, taken over by Kings Park Comet. Dumped into the shallow part of the EI zone, but taken back over. Now carried in. Slapper just wide. Caught the KPC goalie a little bit out of the crease there and missed just wide. Puck along the far wall there, playing a little bit of patty cake. So now Kings Park Comac carries it in deep. What a save by Dixon. 5-3. The score remains. Kings Park was on the doorstep there from inching closer, but Brody Dixon shut the door. Sorry, I'm trying to deal with comments. They're saying that it's out of focus, but... Uh... I checked three places and it's it looks pretty focused. Pretty good to me. I don't know. Wrist shot about. smothered again by Dixon. You say it's out of focus. I immediately look at the ice to see what's yeah, going I, on. I don't know what he's talking <laughs> about. So we tried. We looked. Uh, you know, take that stuff seriously. So yeah. I want to make sure everybody gets the best viewing <laughs> experience possible. I would say uh, check your network. So a little bit of back and forth banter. 2.49 remaining in the middle stanza. Face-off won by Kings Park Comac, but smothered by EI as they send it off the boards into the neutral zone. Carrying a two-on-one opportunity here. Wrist shot just wide. Again, caught Crouchmeyer out Crouch. of the crease and almost had that far side, but just missed. It looks like they're looking for that, block, that low blocker side on Krauthammer. Uh, just coming down the wing. I mean, the last two beat them up high on the glove, but looks like, you know, they're uh, shifting their focus a bit. Looks like Crowdhammer's playing a wee bit too aggressive coming, I shouldn't say extremely, but no. out, of the, out of his crease a lot more consistently than we've seen as the faceoff is taken over by Kings Park. Comac looking to get out of their own zone, they do. I think he's fine. I think it's just the guys that are firing pucks at him know what they're doing. East Iceland now carries in. A penalty is going to be called here as the as Dixon heads to the bench, but we'll get the Kings whistle. Park Comac here will touch up. So now that you can't do that chant. Now you can chant that. Here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, now you can chant that. We'll see what the call is as the refs get it sorted out. 
Like Whoever it is is not very happy. Like Looks like it is Ludzinski. We'll wait to see what it is, but I think it's going to be tripping or interference. But nonetheless, East Islip has a power play here with two minutes remaining. Yep, Lazinski called for hooking. My prediction on the penalty was wrong, but nonetheless, the eye has the man advantage. East Islip did score two power play goals, and we have a breakaway here on the shorthand. Backhand, forehand, wrister just wide. Looks like Dixon got a piece of it. Now East Islip looks to respond as Ryan Anatra carries it Four in. Two. Pass over far side. What a save, save. by Crowdhammer with the glove. Good save. From this angle, Four, it looked like two. that puck was either going to hit the post or just catch the net, but nonetheless, what a save by Crowdham. Came out, challenged him, got back. Boom. You know, it's no tough place to go with sliding that. either, too. You know, you're not stationary. No place to go with that. Puck. EI wins the faceoff here. 130 remaining in the period, 114 remaining on the power play. Puck now in right in front of Crowdhammer with no luck. Wrist shot over the goal by Pepe. Anatra takes over at the point, carries it in deep. Looking for an open man here. Cross ice pass batted down and cleared by the Knights. KPC's just got to kill this and regroup in between periods. They've already proven they can beat this team or they belong in the game. A notcher with a wrist shot. Nice save, crowd hammer. 38 seconds remaining on the power play. 51 seconds remaining in the period. Puck carries in. Shot in the traffic. Doesn't get the crowd hammer. 42 seconds. Another wrist shot. Crowd hammer. Thought he covered up, but the puck is loose. Sent out in front of the EI bench, but stays in the zone. 15 seconds remaining in the period now, in, in the power play rather. Now 10, Anatra covers in, but gets it stolen from him and cleared out. That should do it for the power play. Wait, it's Danny Barbarito's birthday tonight? Happy birthday, Danny Barbarito. Oh, happy birthday, Danny. <laughs> I used to play, I, I, I think I told you this before. You did tell me We this used to early. play hockey together when we were kids, so that just means we're both getting old. Yeah, that, I wouldn't brag about that now. Oh, all right. As, <laughs> as the second period ends, <laughs> and it's still five to three in favor of East Islip. Oh, yeah, they're, they're, having, they're having fun for Danny. All right, happy birthday, Danny. Can we get a shot at Danny Barbarito, please? As it looks like. Oh, he lost the steal. Player lost his, his blade there. Come oh, on, no. Please. That's upsetting. 5 3 in favor of the Chiefs. We'll be right back in less than a minute. You're listening, you're watching, excuse me, the SCHSHL and the LI Sports Network. Wait, hold on. We got to find Danny. But Danny's too busy for his birthday. He's coaching. Happy birthday, Danny Barbarito, as we start the third period here at the rinks on the north side, 5-3. to three. In favor of Danny Barbarito's Chiefs, Eric Bellier, Michael Brown with you on the Long Island Sports Network. The Barbarito boys are in control. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why are these fans so mad? Uh, they're just mad. They're just screaming at everybody. You're winning, man. Chill out. Can't we all just get along? Just mad. As it looks like both teams head to the face-off dot here at center ice. Looks like Lemza got kicked out of the face-off dot. No, he did not. 
Face off one by EI, but sent right into the EI bench, so face off will be on the neutral zone. These guys just don't like certain players. I guess not. He didn't sign his puck when they were a kid or something. Just four seconds into the period, we have a second face off as Kings Park Comac sends one deep into the EI zone. Now off of a couple sets of skates into the neutral zone. East Islip now carries it in deep. A wrist shot saved by Crowdhammer. Early save here in period number three. Crowdhammer's gonna have to take control, but wrist shot gloved partially by Crowdhammer. And clear into the neutral zone. KPC needs to find their legs. Yep. K KPC also, too, kind of running out of time. I know it's the early stage of the third period, but a two-goal lead with the offensive prowess that East Islip has. A shot is sent off of Crowdhammer. Nice save at point-blank range. KPC's show. Oh, my goodness. Big hit there. Big hit along the boards here. As a wrist shot by Pepe shot wide. What I started to say was that they've shown that they can skate with this team. And they, you know, they had a lead earlier in the game. We just got to kind of recapture that magic a little bit. Get them back in this game. Oh, almost shot off the birthday boy. Oh, the birthday oh, boy caught, caught it. it. Look at that. It's a nice birthday present there. <laughs> See that? Each hasn't affected his reflexes at all. <laughs> That's what happens when you have a... I tell a, you another uh, thing that age hasn't affected is his size. Danny Bovarito, he was 6'4 when we were 12. And every bit of it. Uh, he, he was that big when we were 12. It was horrible running into him as a 12-year-old. 13-41 remaining here in the final period as Kings Park Comac carries it in to the EI zone. Pass looking for a teammate wide. East Islip now controls it. Oh, but turnover right in their zone. Wrist shot saved Dixon. Second save Dixon with the blocker. We should send this crowd to a tennis match. <laughs> Kings Park Comac with an off angle shot. Another one backhand scores. That's Jack Salva. Salvo with a backhand off the read deflection. Now it's five to four. That's all you need. Nice bounce. You're only down a goal. The boys are excited. Just picking up the loose change. Five four in favor of the Knights. I think they're getting their last energy out of the three day weekend that they have. Is that what it is? I think so. They're going to be upset they got to go to school tomorrow. Giving away that Logan Paul energy drink at <laughs> schools. Is that where they're drinking Prime or something? We are not sponsored by Prime. No, we're not. 5 Nor 4. Will we ever be. 5 4 in favor of East <laughs> Iceland. Three minutes have gone by, two minutes have gone by. Redirection there, controlled by Crowdhammer. KPC carries it in. They're knocking on the door. Another nice save there by Dixon. He's nice of looking to get it out now. Dumped off to Ryan Anatra. Anatra with a crossed ice pass. Sauced and carried down. Controlled over here now, right in the middle. Nice play there by KPC to break that pass up. Anatra tries to kick it to himself, doesn't know where the puck is, but he's nice and able to knock them off the puck. Dixon waffle boards one wide. Kings Park's coming. We saw the energy kind of boost out of EI early on in the middle stage of the second period. Now Kings Park, Comac's kind of having that here with, five, with four minutes gone in the third period. Coyle carries in a wrist shot, saved by Dixon, but not controlled. So KPC has the puck still. Now behind, I guess you could say the Brody Dixon line, <laughs> as East Islip carries it out. Nice little deke there, wrist shot saved. Crowdhammer with the glove. D9, what a save there. Let's take another look at that one. Nice pass to get this thing going. 
This is what these guys do. They just fly up ice. Ready or not, here it comes. I've learned rather quickly in this game to be ready on the face-offs when Anthony Pepe's taking. Oh, yeah. As Pepe shoots it off the far wall, controlled by East Isla, but broken up. As East Islip takes the puck and dumps it into the KPZ zone. KP, I keep K saying KPZ. KPC <laughs> zone. Right on the doorstep, but Crowdhammer is able to flail that one wide. A little bit more pressure in the KPZ zone from East Islip. Now carried in deep by K. Uh -oh. KPC, Dixon doesn't know where it is, and they tie the game! That is the younger prank. Curious to see that one. That was a very odd angle shot. Went through the wickets of Dixon, doesn't know where it is. Falls right onto Prance's stick and Ron knocks it Prang. in. We talked about Billy Prang before, and now he was a leader on this team last season. This is Brian Prang, his younger brother, looking to uh, step into Big Brother's shoes. Nice goal there by Prang to tie the game, and we're all knotted up again at five, but wait one second. It looks like the three referees are getting together here. Uh, run that again. Let's, let's see what, let's take a little. Obviously, look. there's no video review unless no, there's I'm no wrong. video review but we can review for for you know the heck of it let's see walsh is he asking for goalie puck interference maybe puck is sitting right underneath yeah. dixon i don't prang's able to shoot unless that there's in. some interference going on on the other side where dixon can't get to it run it one more time i'm curious what we're reviewing here because the ei coaching staff is incensed That's, are they you know what? I don't even want to guess. Who knows? Let's run it one more time, Jared. Let's take a look. Jared doing a great job on the board. As is Wally on cams always. Wally on the, I guess we say the ones and, it's not the ones and twos, it's right? It's the one. <laughs> it's just the, the. That's what he's running, the. Face off one by East Islip. Ryan and Atra skating after it. <laughs> Got a good crowd in the chat tonight. Oh, good. I hope they're not just totally going after us. No, they're not. That's why it's a good crowd. There's actually some interesting stuff going on there. Two on three here as Kings Park Comac carries it into the zone. Ryan and Atra controls it, carries it into the neutral zone as he blazes by Anthony Pepe. Now below the line behind Crowdhammer, pucks loose. 10 minutes to go on the button. Here we go. Lemza carries it in now to the left of Dixon. Shot right in oh. front, oh. cleared out, and it's in! Oh, boy. Kings Park Comac! KPC takes it right to the EI fan section. Three straight goals. And let's EI's fan section know that they were listening. 6-5 yeah. in favor of the Knights. <laughs> Look at how quick it, it took him to turn around and go right to those fans. Just not controlling the puck there for I EI. I would do it any differently. No. I absolutely would have done the same Somebody's thing. on my case all game. That's for you. <laughs> Steven Ludzitski with the goal there. So Steven and Maximus on the board. That's Steven's second of the game. So a hat trick in the Ledzinski household. Okay. 6-5 <laughs> in favor of Kings Park Comac here. Nine and a half minutes remaining. East Islip knows how to answer as they scored three unanswered goals and in the second period. Coming up a little bit. Ref still letting them play. That's good. A wrist shot from the point deflected wide. Kings I wish Park. every game would be like this. Yeah, me too. Kings Park Comac carries it out. Below the line behind Dixon. 
Back to the point now. McCrane looking for some help. Wrist shot gloved there by Dixon. Salvo is just waiting. Salvo is looking for that second chance effort there. So 8.55 now. You can only find this type of hockey one place, the Long Island Sports Network. Tell you what, both of these high school leagues over the last three or four years between Nassau and Suffolk, we've seen so many great players, so many great teams. We're really lucky to be doing this. And a lot of high intensity as well as Ryan Anatra's cross ice pass. Batted off a stick but not controlled, so KPC takes over. Lemza carries in against two EI defenders. Nice stick play there. Lemza tries to go across ice with no luck. EI clears it down. Will be on goal to Crowdhammer, so no icing. Puck into the neutral zone now. East Islip looking to set up. Lemza just smothering the opposition. A notch's gash, you could tell. I tell you what, a lot of these guys skate five, six times a week. You'd be surprised. They have ex they have reserve tanks. Good point. I, I, I would not be surprised if he found himself on the score sheet another time or two before looked this like comes the, out. Look like the puck reflect deflected rather off a referee, but KPC takes over with an opportunity, but East Islip is able to take care of that. Now here comes Anatra with three KPC defenders on him. And somebody's without a stick, but is able to regain it. Puck into the neutral zone now. A bouncing puck that is taken over by Lidzitski. Shot saved by Brody Dixon, and he crashes into uh, Dixon. I think he was pushed in. I don't know that he willfully kind of. Looked like he went to give him a little snow and was I don't know. Let's see. sent a little Jared, bit. Jared, run it back. Jared, you're weak. Jared, run it back. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh, we missed oh, it. We That's, missed. All That's all right. That's your one free one today, Jared. <laughs> We're kidding. We <laughs> don't do that. 7.28 remaining here in the, in the final frame, six to five in favor of Kings Park Comac, a seesaw battle between two undefeated teams looking for one to remain that way. Pepe now controls it. Cross ice pass misses everybody, but stays in the zone. Now carried out by Kings Park Comac. Could have a two on one if they hurry. Looking for a deke there, nice defensive play. East Islip sends it into the neutral zone right at the face off dot, Kings Park Comac controls. Carried in deep by the Knights behind the Dixon line. Turned over though, now EI comes out. Wrist shot off of Crowdhammer's shoulder and over the goal. So the puck staying in the zone here. Carried in deep. East Islip looking for a chance. What a save, Crowdhammer with the blocker. Remember that one. So now here comes Coyle, smothered by Pepe. Coyle looking for a deke, skate, the sticks lifted, no, no penalty called, good call there in my opinion. I'm definitely gonna have to do some homework on some of these KPC players. There's a few that I'm not familiar with that have been unbelievable. And tonight. some that aren't on the score, on the uh, score, oh, I've score some, card, yeah. but have been excellent. The play Coyle just made there. Yeah. Great play to get to the net. So puck sent into the EI penalty box. Face off will be taken at center ice. 5.59 remaining here in the final frame. Face off one by Kings Park Comac. They do also have a few John Glenn kids in there. Did but I think at that point, the, the, the initials would get to a point where I'm singing the alphabet. Well, we've got Connecticut, Sayville, Bay, 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 Bay Bayport, Port, Blue Point. <laughs> so you beat that sentence, you got something. Shout out to Steve Beisel and the T-Birds. 542, well, 535 remaining now. Is there some physicality going on behind the play? East Islip takes over here. Have numbers if they hurry. Looking for a Anatra off the boards with no luck. Now the ice has taken a beating. They do have a two-on-one developing here. Carried over, sent in deep. Ooh. Puck's not seen. 
Did that go in? Yes. It yes. did! Ryan Anatra ties the game yet again. Here we go with this guy. Ivers. There's that off of Crowd Hammer's pad. Made great save. And then Anatra, yeah. bang. Yeah, bang, back bar. That went in. So, but but we will see here the three officials are coming together. Run that back one more time. Right, well, don't. <laughs> oh, I guess Ryan and Anatra scored a hat trick because the hat's on the ice. No, that's, you know, the same fans that. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, run it again. That's the same fans that were yelling, uh, you can't do that on an icing, so we can't really. Uh, <laughs> on a, on a, on a deflected shot. Yeah, Jared, let's see it again. Let's take another look. Now, there is no video review in the league. If for some reason this is wrong, I don't blame the refs because this was this was a split second thing. Off the pad, off the pad. That's tough. Uh, I don't know. The, the answer is I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> First time I thought I went in, the second time I wasn't that sure about it. The answer is I'm very I, happy I'm not making the call. It's on YouTube. You can review it <laughs> on your own, slow mo, you know, HD, whatever you got. You, you, know, you know, Wally, next time get to the matter. goal line, we'll be able to tell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, <just kidding. laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> 5 10 remaining here. As it stands right now, it's a 6 6 hockey game. We're going to see if they call it. It looks Look, like. That's such a tough call to make in KPC's real time on the trying ice. to plead their case. This is, this is the call that in the NHL they're calling Toronto for right yeah. away. You got six cameras on the net. So. And it is a good it is goal. A goal. All right, so Ryan Anatra, assisted by Brian Slattery and Thomas Ivers. That's Ivers' first point of the night. As we have a face-off going into the neutral zone. Two guys hug it out. It looks like there's no bad blood there between the two. No, a lot of these guys play travel hockey together, so yeah. they know each other. So it's fun down here to get a little chippy. Yeah, but <laughs> listen, sometimes, and I said this in a previous broadcast, sometimes the guys will be messing around on the ice. You think they're seriously fighting, and they're just messing around. Yeah. So you got to be careful. 5.05 remaining here in the final frame. 6-6 six, six hockey game here at the rinks in Hop Hog. Eric Bellier, Michael Brown with you on the Long Island Sports Network. Puck sent in. Dixon plays it and sends it to a teammate there looking for some help. 4.45 remaining. East Isop clears it into the neutral zone. Pepe right back out there as well. Taken over by East Islip. Pepe with it now on the far side. Pepe carries in a wrist shot deflected off of a KPC skate. Puck played off of somebody's head there. Unintentionally, of course, as Lemza carries it out. Lemza into the, K into the EI zone. He falls. Do I see an arm up? I do nope. not. It's like he lost an edge. Yeah. Also, it's a third period on un... Zamboni dice. And what's the call here? I don't know that there is a call. Hold on a sec. Offside. Lems is no, I think he blew it down the... for offside. I don't think he blew it down. Oh, for okay. Like that. I saw, I heard the whistle out of yeah. nowhere. I think they're pleading their case on the trip, but it looks like he blew it down for some, for, some sort of offside or something. I don't know. Unfortunately, there's a kid with a headdress blocking my view. <laughs> Still a good touch. You don't see headdresses like that much. Anymore. I mean, there's a reason you don't. <laughs> <laughs> EI now carries it in. Ryan Anatra, the three goal scorer, sends one wide. Six goals today, three scored by number 72. Do we I mean, wait until after the game to, to tally that? 3.38 remaining in the final frame now. 6-6 six, six game here as we enter the final stages of the third. Carry deep into the into the EI zone. Brandon, D Bro uh, excuse me, Brody Dixon tries to play with no luck. Wristed off of Dixon, sticking wide. EI is going to recover and take it out. Carried in deep now behind the goal, looking for a notch or no Give luck. to him. But he does find the puck yet again. He has a nose for it. 
deep behind the crowd hammer goal. Anatra controls it, looking for some help, finds it at the top of the point. Off the defender, but directly to Anatra's stick. I gotta tell you, his laces help. Yeah. <laughs> the, the laces certainly help. The arrows got a big breast cancer awareness thing going on right now. Oh, that's awesome. Very cool. 240 remaining, 6-6 six, six hockey game. Back into the KPZ zone, but a big tie-up, so the Knights will take over. But then the puck immediately ends up back with East Iceland. Bouncing around now, a game of I don't want it, no, you take it being played in the neutral zone. A little dump in there from the Chiefs. KPC has the puck now. Clears into the neutral zone and taken. Now carried in a wrist shot wide as we cross the two minutes mark here in the third. Puck tied up on the near wall. The crowd is making it very difficult to see where exactly it is. Looks like two sides apiece tied up into the neutral zone, shot wide of Dixon. A minute and a half remaining now as the puck's carried in deep. Puck is loose in the KPZ zone. Now sent back a blind pass here on a KPC line change. And cleared directly to an EI player. Deflected puck, Anatra. It's like playing categories, covered up by Krauthammer. What a save! Krauthammer's getting it done. Minute and 12 until we get overtime. A sprawling save there by Krauthammer. I think we should play the whole thing over again. Yes. Great. Yes. Clean Olympic game. rules, just play till yeah, somebody just play scores. Till somebody scores. <laughs> Clean game, everything's good. A lot of great everything. Great saves, great offensive As plays. it looks like a timeout has been taken by Kings Park Comac John Glenn. <laughs> Editorializing our team. <laughs> throw it in, you. throw it in now. Gives Krauthammer a second to get some water in him. And give everybody a second to get going before the final minute and 12 of chaos ensues. Krauthammer earned it. He's, he's, these are some of the best shooters in the league that have just been firing at him all night. He's stood pretty strong. And I, I don't remember seeing any softies go in. On both sides, too, the two Dixon goals that went in, he didn't even see where the puck was off the deflection. So it looks like the faceoff's going to be taken to Crowd Hammer's right. Find the person with the hair. <laughs> it's not hair, it's a headdress. I don't know. And I did find him. Yeah, you can't miss him. So a big faceoff here as it's being taken to the right of Crowdhammer. Hey, by the way, real quick, a couple people in the comments were asking for JV commentary. That is something we will be doing later in the season once the schedule kind of shakes out and we uh, get some matchups that we know are going to be good. So definitely look for that towards the second half of the season. Face-off won by East Islip, shot immediately off over Crowdhammer's goal. East Islip does control a blind pass, but Playing a game of catch between the two teams. Ryan Anatra with the pressure behind the goal. Cleared into the neutral zone, but taken over by KPC. Carried over by the Knights off of Lemza's skate. A nice play there with the stick by East Islip into the neutral zone. 45 seconds remaining now. Puck below the goal line as we hit 40 seconds. Well, it's lived up to its billing. Yeah, both teams playing very hard as Lemza Carrot calls for the puck. Pepe with it off his shoulder, lands in front of him. And I'm certain there are some players from Smithtown, St. Anthony's, Sachem, and even West Islip watching this one. Well, it does look like whoever's playing in the next game might be Sachem's lined up That's along right. the oh, boards. Sachem's here, so that's <laughs> okay, one less that's actually watching on the streams. West Islip forced themselves into the conversation last night with a big win over Smithtown. 
Now five seconds remaining into the neutral zone. Ryan Anatra looking for a buzzer beater. Wrist shot save. Crowd hammer oh. sticks it out. Oh, does my it, goodness. Does it get any closer than that? The game of inches. Please don't tell us they're letting us end, letting them end this in a tie. The ref just gave a little bit of a hand signal here, I but think they do like a four. Well, it's five minute overtime. They got a five kick. minute overtime period between the two. I'm assuming there's nothing after this. No, there's nothing after that. All right, they do do a shootout, but that's only in the playoffs. That'd be kind of cool if they did do that uh, in the regular season. 6-6 six, six game here on the Long Island Sports Network. Kings Park, Comac, and East Islip. Action-packed, I think, would be an understatement. Adrenaline rush, I think, would be an utter understatement. Oh, this is great. I don't know what's on Monday Night Football right now, but it can't be more interesting than this. No, definitely not. Unless not. you got, like, a fantasy football team that needs Josh Jacobs to get some points. Totally. Otherwise, I'm watching this. <laughs> four Face on four for overtime. Face-off one and controlled by East Islip but turned over almost immediately. As the pass is corralled by EI and carried into the zone. Anatra carries it in on the backhand, looking for some help here. To the top of the point it goes. Or long wrist shot corralled by Crowdhammer. Now Kings Park Comac looking to make something happen. Salva turns it over. Off the board and Salva goes down, so East Islip has the numbers. Anatra backhands it, looking for some help here. Nice little deke there. Wrist shot flails and second effort goes wide. Oh, that's gonna go for icing. So this will be an icing on Kings Park Comac. So the faceoff's going to head over to the left of Crowdhammer, who's already waiting. 57 seconds gone by in the extra session. KPC's got to get possession of that puck immediately. You can't leave Ivers and Anatra and those guys in your own zone like this for too long. Any time spent with those four on the ice in black and red yeah. is a disservice to KPC. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like there's some confusion going on here. You know, I do think the pace of play a bit is affected by the lack of Zamboni due to time, but oh yeah, the ice gets you know these guys are a little older, a little bigger. They chop up the ice, sure. Face-off win by Kings Park Comac, looking to get it out of their zone. They do, but now they send it back into their zone as they get a bit of a line change. Turnover. Ryan Anatra just misses it. Pepe with the pressure. Now here comes Lemza. Lemza one on three, looking for a deke, gets tripped up. He saw daylight there. <laughs> now EI with numbers as they carry into the Kings Park Comac zone. Wrist shot right in the crowd hammer's chest. 227. I guess we're playing running clock now. Is that what it is? It, 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 it makes sense, to be honest with you. Totally. So the clock is running. Uh, My guess is at first they didn't run the clock. And we're at 210 as Pepe now finds a stick there, but wide. Still an eternity for these guys to find a net. Absolutely. Pepe now trying to stick it down. Kings Park Comac carries it out. A wrister off Dixon's leg, a second effort from that's the Lemza second time goes Lemza wide. almost had one. The opportunities are there. Carried into the EI zone. Wrist shot save. Crowd hammer. He seems like he just finds the open space on the ice. He's always in the right spot. Now here comes Lemza carrying into the zone. Wrist shot far side deflected. Nice save there by Dixon. But Lemza finds that is not Lemza, but Lemza's on the far side. Finelli. Finelli with a pass yeah. now below the zone. Minute 20 in counting. KPC slowing the game down a bit here, but it is turned over. Here comes the Islip to have a chance. Two on one if they hurry. Wrist shot save, Crowdhammer. 
And speaking of Grinelli, he, his hustle. I'm loved sorry, by Crowdhammer. That was DeSaro. And the a minute left back. and counting. Can we get a replay of that real quick? Oh, we can't, we can't, we, we're running the clock. And the clock's, is the clock not supposed to be running? I don't believe anybody's, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna just. I believe the overtime rule for the league is that it does, it's a five minute running overtime. I okay. think what happened was they stopped, they did stop time at the beginning and tried to make the correction once uh, the play had started. So 30 seconds remaining now. East Islip has the puck in the neutral zone. Pepe now looking to make something happen, 25 seconds. Pepe carries it in with four KPC defenders on his back. Turned over now, 15 seconds, 16 seconds. Pepe looking for the puck, no luck. Wow. Now nine seconds along the far wall. Shot there, taken over by Crowdhammer. Another wrist shot through traffic. Pepe has it, nothing, no blood here wow. in the overtime period. And what a way to end in a 6-6 tie game. Well. We've established who two of the best teams in the league are. Oh, totally. So we can start there. Um, no one's a fan of ties. No, none of us are. Everybody's kind of like groaning a little bit wanting <laughs> this to end. Well, they play each other again this season, and uh, if it's anything like this, you and I will be back having a good time <laughs> on, the, on the headsets. Oh, there, that. Get a shot. Oh, get we a need shot. Lucian. All right. Get a shot of Lucian. Get a shot. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna get a shot of Lucian. <laughs> I got my headset on, I don't care. <laughs> Shout out to Lucian. The Lucian, the coach dog. The coach dog out there. Right there. He's there a very good he boy. 6-6 six, six, tie between East Islip and Kings Park Comac. One of the more exciting games. For Michael Brown, I'm Eric Bellier. Signing off on this game, you've been watching Suffolk County High School Hockey on the Long Island Sports Network.